This build was a journey. There are moments of joy and success, but there were also moments of pain and failure. Starting off, everything is coming up aces. The basic idea in my head mostly worked. It's really helped me to start doing these trial videos where I explore a material before using it for the first time on a complicated build. The merchant tents walked so this tent could, well, not run, but jog while only slightly out of breath. Ignore my attempts at measurements. The important thing is to make the triangles longer than you think so there's room for the fabric to drape a bit. Pre-coloring the fabric was a good idea, marred by putting the wet painted pieces next to the unpainted ones, and getting to see capillary action at work. Super glue, working on wet surfaces, is a lifesaver. Creasing the fabric so it would make generous folds was fiddly, but I liked the effect. Clear coating is an important step that really locks down the fabric. Trying to give some pronounced wood texture to the smooth dowel, little knowing the tragedy that was to come. <laughs> a four-year-old is sometimes uncomfortable with the mistakes I show in my videos. I understand why. It's discouraging and frustrating to make mistakes, and sometimes we're led to feel they should also be embarrassing. I believe that your ability to tolerate failure is much more predictive of your success, however you measure it, for the majority of people than talent will ever be. After all, who's worse at something? Somebody hacking away at a skill, messing things up as they go, or somebody who isn't doing the skill at all because they're afraid of failure? Anyways, I didn't have it in me to make those folds a second time, so the tent gets a rolled up flap on the side. I'm kind of pleased with it. It looks a little less neat, but it makes it a lot more playable to take figures in and out. <laughs> 